Well, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to all my bankers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the November Boxy Charm Base Box. It is that time again. It seems like I just did this video just a few weeks ago, but here we are again. Actually, my box arrived early this time, so we can get right into this box. Now, I do want to start by letting y'all know that when you see this box, I'm, I'm going to just hold it up real quick. Yeah, she looked kind of, she looked kind of bad. She looking bad. Because of the fact that the mailman left my box outside and it got drenched. It was raining that day. I came home, I seen it was on my porch and it was just soaking wet. So there was no recovery for this box. But we gonna get right into the contents. Thankfully, nothing was damaged. So the thing for this month is um, the harvest. And this is what the sheet is looking like. So I guess this did get a little bent up and crumpled just a bit, but now the products were tore up. One of the like most important things that was in this box, and I was so excited when I looked in here, I was like, oh my gosh, I hadn't seen any spoilers for the month of November, so I didn't really know what was coming through the base box. And again, like I said, I wasn't expecting my box to get here as fast as it did. But when I saw this little baby right here, this is the Natasha Denona. This is the Peak 5 Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm super excited to have this. Um, I do own the, I believe it's called the Sun Bronze Palette, or the Bronze Palette. I do own that one. That's I don't know how many pans are in it, but it was like the $65 one. I love it. I love it. I do. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, I'm excited to have this one as well. And this eye look that I am wearing, I did achieve by using this eyeshadow palette. And I will be showing you guys a video on that at the end of this. So stay tuned if you want to see how these shadows work. Okay. So that peak palette is a five pan palette um, featuring the essential everyday warm toned eye pigments. The MSRP is $48. And you guys know... In these boxy charm videos, I will always let you guys know if I would or would not pay the price that the MS MSRP has down. Forty-eight dollars. Nah, she ain't that special. She not that special. And moving on. So the next thing that I got in my box is the for Sally Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. It's the Hydrate and Penetrate, and this is what it looks like here. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my hand. I did use this on my face today before I did my look. Made my skin feel really good. Um, instantly, it's just soaking up into the skin. It doesn't really have a smell so I appreciate that because I do have sensitive skin and you know I just really can't take a whole bunch of this and that but I'm excited to use this I'm excited to see what it does for my skin over time I'm very excited I do currently use the Frisali skin tune blur and I do like that on my skin as well the next thing that I have in my box I'm loving the orange I'm loving the orange. I'm feeling that. Orange is starting to get on one of my um, favorite color lists. And especially in the makeup world. Um, the MSRP, I'm sorry guys, I'm all over the place. I'm a little excited. This is a pretty good box. I don't know if you can tell. But I'm kind of excited. Um, the MSRP on the Frisali... Hydration is $24. So this is $24. And we have a one fluid ounce of Frisali and this 
$48. I would pay $24 for this. I would. I would pay $24 because skincare is definitely one of the things that I'll splurge on. I'll splurge on the eyeshadow palettes too. Just a little secret. I'll splurge on the eyeshadow palettes. I'll spend quite a bit on the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to let you guys in on like... I'm looking over here because this has like most of my palettes there. And um, I've spent a few dollars on some palettes. Some kind of... Well, whatever. You guys know. But moving on to the next product. It is the Yensa Beauty Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. I have never heard of this. Um, it says it's a superfood cosmetic, 8 super orange essence. It's supposed to have pumpkin, turmeric, papaya, grapefruit, ginger, carrot, honey, and orange in it. Um... Let's see. No parabens, no sulfates. I'm trying to see what it's actually supposed to be doing to the skin. Um, it polishes, hydrates, and exfoliates, and it's supposed to give you radiant skin. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um okay. It's worth a try. I'm glad I got it because I did want to try something similar to this that I was looking at in Ulta. I think it was ranging about $48, so I probably wasn't going to pay that much for it. I think I was waiting on it to go on sale. It wasn't the same exact product, but um, I'm glad I have this one. The MSRP for this one is $45. Nah, I don't care how many carrots, oranges peach, pumpkin, sweet potato, it's a no. And the next thing that I have in this box is the Moda Metallics. Uh, this is the two brush, the ultimate eye sculptors. Um, these are the two brushes. I did use them as well in the look that you guys will see coming up. So again, stay tuned. It's a blender brush. It's a, um, I don't know, this is like a sculpting brush. But they were pretty good. Really soft, easy to use. Uh, I like that. I can, I mean, you can never go wrong with some extra brushes. It's just extra work for you to do some extra cleaning. Um, the MSRP on those, $15. So would I pay $15 for two brushes? No, I would not. Um, but this brush set was, hmm, let me see. And I know their motives. If it was, uh, I don't know, maybe if this was about 6 or $7, I'm thinking I would pay. I just wouldn't pay $15 for it because I have as many brushes as I do right now. And I'd rather buy them in a set for maybe 25 to thirty dollars and you get maybe fifteen opposed to two for fifteen dollars so that's why I'm saying that and the last thing in my box is the essential Jor essential lip enhancer let's take it out and see what we have comes in a tube like this you know just regular squeeze tube I'm going to squeeze a little bit on my hand. I want to see if it's minty or anything. Check it now. I want to see if it's sticky. No smell. Um, you guys, let me see. I don't even think you guys can see that. But it has just like a little bit of sheen to it. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It might be good. I've I've never tried this. Let me know down in the comment section, guys, if you've tried any of these products or if you got a um, received the Boxy Charm box, the base box this month. What variation you had and what products you received? I had variation number seven. Um, yeah. So. Um,
Let me tell you what they said about the MSRP for that. Jor was seventeen dollars. I definitely would not pay seventeen dollars for that. I'm, I'm just wouldn't do it. There's too many other lip products that I can find to moisturize my lips for under that price. Um, but yes, guys. So I think this box this month was really good. I'm glad I received every single product that I got. And um, I'm not gonna say it was one of my best boxes ever. But it was a really good box. So right now, guys, I just want you to stay tuned so you can watch the portion of me applying this look right here. Okay, so guys, you will see that I already have this left eye done. And I'm going to be featuring in here um, the Natasha Denona. This is the eyeshadow palette in Peak. Um, so this is the orange palette right here. Well, it has orange colors in it. Um, this is the pink palette that was in the box. And I used basically these three colors here. Why won't you focus, man? And then this gold one here. So I've already got this eye done, like I said before. And I'm just going to do this eye here. So I'm going to take this brown right here and just basically place it all over the lid. I want to be looking down in this mirror that I have. Putting it um, just basically on my mobile lid, patting it on, pack, patting it, packing it, you know. Okay, and once I get it pretty good, I'm going to start blending it up a little bit. And I'm kind of leaving this little inner space here open. Because um, that's where I'm going to place these other colors at. So this really doesn't take too long. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more. To be honest with you guys, this brown is not the deepest brown that, you know, that I've ever used. It's not the deepest. I mean, a lot will come up on your brush, but yeah. It's just not the deepest brown I've ever used. Which could be good and bad in some ways. I'm just going to take now one of the brushes that came in the... Um, the box and it's the blending crease brush and I'm just gonna blend that color out blend it up and out like this here and I'm going up a little bit more okay so now I'm going to take this is really simple guys this look is really simple I'm gonna take this color right here these don't have oh yeah they do I guess this one is called um, Aya I guess I, mean, I don't know I'll show you guys back so you can see it's gonna apply that color on my brow bone okay it's like a cream like a cream color right here and then I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to take it old school guys. I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because I need this white base so that I can get this orange to pop. So I'm just going to place it right here in my inner corner. Okay, so it looks a little something like that. Now I'm going to take this brush, and I'm, I'm saying this brush, but it's a lavish eye shader brush, but it's really small, so I'm going to be able to get in that little corner. I'm going to pick up this orange color right here, and this, guys, is a pigment color. 
pigmented. I'm going to place it right on top of everywhere that I put that white. And you're going to want to like stamp it on because you want to keep as much of that color as possible. Okay, and so after that, I'm going to go in with this um, golden color right here. And I'm going to place it right on top of the orange in like the most inner part of the eye. Because I want to get a little shine with that. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. That's what I wanted. And I'm um, just going to place a little mascara on there. You guys that have been watching me will know I you will see that I don't ever usually apply lashes and it's just because I don't wear lashes I prefer my own I mean I don't knock anybody that does wear lashes but they're just not for me I'm a contact lens wearer and I'm having enough trouble with that I don't need to be playing with the lashes okay so for the palette as far as it goes guys I really did like this easy like took me two minute I look to come up with the colors I thought were very pigmented um, I only used one of the two brushes today to get this eye look I thought this was really soft and um, it blended pretty good I have to try this one this isn't like a, a little funny looking brush I don't really know what to say about this one but it looks pretty interesting so when I do use this brush just look for the gold handle I'll let you try to let you guys know that I'm using it for um, whatever I look I do next uh, let me see I did also use um, the rest of my face is basically completed um, I did also use the um, for Sally the quenching I'm sorry guys I got a new lens on and I kind of got to get used to where it focuses at and I haven't quite got there yet so I'm assuming holding it back here gets it in focus um yeah it's the Frisali quench is the moisture replenishing that came in there the serum it felt really good on my skin my skin feels pretty hydrated and soft so I did like that um, and I didn't use anything else in this look today so yeah so we'll get back over to the video okay guys so that is gonna do it for that portion of the video I just want to say I truly do thank you guys for stopping by this channel watching this video today I just want to say I thank all the people that have subscribed thus far I thank you if you watched previous videos um, if you've watched five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you've watched, I truly do thank you. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, like this video, and leave me a comment as to if you got the box, what you liked about the box. If you're thinking of subscribing to BoxyCharm, I encourage you to do so. It's $25 a month. So leave me a comment if you think that that's something that you want to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, be blessed. Bye.